You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, Gina, already. Wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal. And he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, that much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. What? What for? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we headed? Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? Sounded okay. Stevens. But Carlo what took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found that. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah. Henry will know what to do. Henry's different these days. The guy's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry. What the fuck are they hitting him with? Fuck! Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Oh, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of him. Hey. hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. Of all the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? You gotta be smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. So promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual? We got to do this the smart way. To find him. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry so we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Sorry, gentlemen, this place for member only. Here's your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You seen what they done to Henry. You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? What the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What, what? the fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk? 
and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine. Your choice. Are you crazy? What you wanna do? Let him go or something? We could have gotten more out of him. Fuck that. He wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlo sent us, it'll mean war. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. Call you in the morning, we'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Vito, you ready? Does it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. All right. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. He said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and he just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got it coming to him now. But wait. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Uh, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other one. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, who do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Alright, 
Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Wh why So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe's with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his editing around. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? I know, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he know himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish a conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Freeze and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you too. Don't move a muscle. Come on, listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry, it's got a hell of a view. When you're crying. Shit. Ah. Oh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. But can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem. 
Because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Vito. They fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay. Let's get you over to El Greco. Uh, Again? I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked at... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh, guys is already here. Uh, Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Uh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. The next time, it could be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. Hey, I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in, then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attack them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad, and they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time.
Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once, I don't. <laughs> uh, Carla wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did you say what it was about? Nope. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Mr. Scaletta, can you get in, please? Hey, old man. What are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are... This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. That's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. It was all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> when? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know, something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him, too. One, uh, one thing, though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go. Wow, look who it is. This is who they send? This is an insult. What'd they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> You're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouched for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey, if you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito, let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked about, tree. Joe. You're gonna throw all that away? Do it! Two. Now! You know something, Carlo? For the last ten years, all I'd done was kill. I killed for my country. Ah! I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one... This one's for me. Fuck. You! 
<laughs> Fucking prick. I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. So, uh, what was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer. That's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack you. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right, then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on. Let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. All right. So what's the big secret? Hey, 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 what the hell's going on? Where are they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. 